nice to see you. Good to see you. Is Cam short for anything? No, my uh, my parents pre-shortened it and just went with Cam. Because they knew that you would need a movie star name. <laughs> yes, possibly. Yeah, no, they thought it would be easier to just go with Cam because they were going to shorten it anyways. It turned out to be more difficult because now then I have to go into a 12-minute explanation about <laughs> why they did that. Yeah. It works. It works. That's all that matters. So now, is it true that this film, Trespass, took 40 days to shoot and that's it? Did it? I have no idea. That... Sure, that sounds about right. You know, we actually, we ended up having, we had like two weeks of rehearsals beforehand. And yeah, when you, you know, when you have four cameras and however many actors, six or seven actors in literally an office, you have to, it ends up being like a dance, you know? And there were no like, oh, this scene is a page and a half. It was you know, 20 minute scenes. And so it uh, it went by fast, it was hectic. There were times where I would see cameramen bumping into each other and everyone's trying to, yeah. But it made for an, uh, an entertaining, exciting set. Absolutely, and I yeah. think this pool scene that you're in might go down in movie history. Let's hope. Yeah, no, the pool scene, good. It feels like all the movies that I have, they always have like, a scene that has a name to it. <laughs> like I remember in a, in a movie called Burlesque, it was a cookie box scene. So there's always going to be a scene. What was the cookie box scene? It was similar to the swimming pool scene. <laughs> there's like a water theme running through your career. Yeah, there's a, a lack of clothes running through my clear career. Yeah. But no, that scene, that scene was was heightened because the person across from me it was intimidating it was tough I mean it's it's Nicole Kidman so I uh I did extra sit-ups I think that morning or just didn't eat or something was that was that the first time you met her was that day no no you know we uh we were fortunate enough to rehearse beforehand and <clears throat> We, you know, spent a lot of time, and it was great because the movie was shot, for the most part, in order, and so you know things could unfold and develop uh, as it did off camera. So, so how many times did you actually have to shoot that scene, and was the water pretty nice, or was it cold? Um, well, I'm gonna say it was cold just because, um, <laughs> but but I think it was like a hundred degrees out that day, so it was okay. But. Uh, you know, we shot it. We shot it a few times. Um, I think all the body makeup had gone off, and my abs slowly faded away <laughs> with the makeup. Yeah, good times. So you talk about being intimidated by Nicole Kidman, but here you had these scenes with her where you're like getting her in like a hold and a chokehold, and did you hurt her at all? You know, she's surprisingly tougher than I think anybody uh, anybody actually realizes. She uh, she can hold her own, so I didn't really have to worry about her. I think there were times where she would just, yeah, you can go a little harder. Just give her a little, yeah, no, she, uh, but, you know, and with her and even Nick and Joel, they made it so easy on me and some of the other younger actors to, you know, have as much freedom as we possibly could, so. So talk about some of those scenes. What were the challenges of, of shooting those um, violent, there were some really violent scenes. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's the, it's the same challenges, you know, trying to, to make it realistic and while still telling a story and, you know, these people are still going through their, their emotional journeys, even while there's, heavy violence or action or uh, any of that kind of stuff. But the the hardest thing was, you know, having so many cameras and, you know, there would be a really intense physical scene, part of a scene, and then it would continue on. And so there was so much all in, and then we would get that little piece and then move on. And so it was all very 
fast paced and so you didn't you couldn't really worry about it too much and but that was what was so great about it is that there ended up being this natural I don't know this natural physicality that just whatever happened was what was supposed to happen did so. anything funny happen on the set um, funny you know Surprisingly, the funniest stuff that happened on set was because of Nicolas Cage. Uh, you know, and I don't know what my expectations were going into working with Nick, but he, uh, there's his mannerisms, his quirks were so enjoyable and surprising on every take. I mean, there were times where I would literally, I would have to turn my, because I didn't want to, mess him up if he was on camera I would just have to laugh because it's just I don't know if it's my sense of humor or twisted sense of humor but he it's just he has such a funny thing about him I can't even describe it he really is a a, a surprising person <laughs> to say the least to say the least so does your next movie have a, a scene with water Oh, I hope not. No, you know, my, my next thing is actually a, a TV show for TNT that is a Western where they didn't have a lot of water. So I'm sure they will find buckets of it or something. What's it called? It's, uh, it's called Tin Star or possibly Gateway. We'll see. Anything on a horse? Um, we're going to be getting on a horse. Yeah, no, I, uh, the only time I rode a horse was on a vacation in Cabo San Lucas, and that's about my experience, so I don't think it quite compares with the, uh, the cowboys of the 1880s, but uh, I'll get there, I'll get there. Cool, thank you. Thank you.